You, you can't just keep us in suspense like that. Well, I was gonna try and help. What the hell is going on? Who's moving the videos around? I am. Now we're in turn order. I've been chasing the flip video button every time that you did that. <laughs> Because my video was upside down, and you moved me, and then I tried to flip it, and I missed, and then I had to do it like four times. Okay. Or as yeah, far as I can get it. Taps, go. Hands go. Oh, let's see. Crumbling Necropolis, go. Draw. I will crack two fetches and pass. Well, will I pass? I will crack two fetches and then Night's Whisper and pass. I will play Plains. Politically Correct Crusade, pass. Okay. Oh, let's see. Mountain, and then I will cast Truth or Tail. Reveal the top five cards of your library and separate them into two piles. An opponent chooses one of those piles, and I put a card from the chosen pile into my hand, and the other cards reveal this one on the bottom of my library in any order. Uh, Darkwater Catac uh, Catacombs, Tranquility, Frontier, Biv 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 uh, Cathari Remnant, and Krom... Ludovic's Opus. Now, wow. Isn't that like, like the, the really bad factor fiction variant they made in Time Spire? Uh, yes, it is. It, it's uh, Impulse and Factor Fiction is used in one card. Worse than both of them? <laughs> no, it's not. It's about the same as Impulse. Yeah. How much does it cost again? Two. Impulse is also cost nothing. Two, it's, it's two, two. They're, Yeah, they're both, they're both two drops that get you a card. Oh, it's two. I thought it was like three. Okay, never mind. No, no, it's two. It's, it's, it's literally impulse and factor fiction fused into one card. Oh, okay, yeah, shoot. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. Like, if, if it was like actually like three, it'd be garbage. But two, it's fine. Let me uh, switch this around a little bit. Hopefully. Uh, shoe, you get to... Shoe, you, you choose. Okay, uh... Which we're pile? We're going to say Cathari, Remnant, Tranquility, and the other thing. This is the pile you want me to choose? Yeah, that's the pile you can choose out of. Okay, I, I will the, take Tranquility. The okay, uh, I accidentally had eight cards at the end of my turn, so I'm going to discard some of these two just so everyone knows. Um, and after that, it is the end of my turn. I'm gonna pitch dread and shuffle dread and shuffle it back into my uh, library because that's what happens when it goes to the graveyard. And cards like that were considered so powerful, wizards didn't want you to be able to record them. Yeah, I know. Well, no, with the uh, incarnations, I think it was supposed to be showing that they're like an immortal, eternal force. Because they weren't that good. They were good, but they weren't like reanimated target insane. I mean, good back then, wizards, like wizards, basically made any big-ish creature have that ability. I don't think so. It wasn't that many. I mean, there was literally just the incarnation of the Dark Steel Colossus. That many, well, to be fair, there weren't that many big creatures, too. It's like, they put it on for Janet, and then, and then they put it on um, Embercool, and then, like, around, it was around, and it, it was, then, then they made the, then they were like, what if we just printed Gristlebrand? Oh, is it my turn? Yeah. I feel like I need a little bit more height on the camera here. I'm going to grab another pack. And Shit, where's my fat box? Is that me already? Uh, so, I, I guess it's like, where did you go? I, I went. I played Truth oh. and Tail. What did you do? Did you take oh, a turn? I played a land. Okay, then it's it's Dark Seal's turn. You play the thing. It's your turn. I play the thing. It's your turn. Okay. Shaking my head. Um, sunken hollow pass. Okay, let me adjust this camera again now. We got the taller, taller fat five. I'm five fat pack boxes to be the right number to stack upon one another. 
to your yeah, like, I, I, I <laughs> have to figure out which of my path packs, all, all those, those cards that are missing ended up in, and then which, because then I put them in plastic bags, and there's the fat packs, and there's a couple of various deck boxes, and they're in multiple different drawers, and yeah, I'm like, like, I haven't done Yeah. Yeah, that happens. So yeah, care, keep, pass. Burnished heart. Um, going to attack Segris. Christian and calling his captain into the battlefield, tapped and atta attacking. Your um, which is going to be going after. Which I will send after. Well, she has a lot of mana open. Uh, it is the Cygris, you're taking a uh, nine. I don't care what's up today. Okay, sure, I deserved that, totally. Anything else? Okay. You did deserve it. No, no I didn't, it. not even a little bit. Um, Rootbound Crag, and then let's go and play my Commander Idris Maelstrom wielder. And whenever that's... he deals damage, you cascade twice, right? No, whenever I deal damage, every spell I play for the rest of the turn has cascade. Ah, okay. Right. I mean, it's bad, but nice. Yeah. Are you done? Uh, do you see the thing highlighting your screen? I do. In the print of bolt. Aha. Uh -huh. Cabal Lords are all like, expensive now just because they're on the reserve list and they were from tiny sets. Wanna well, no, well, no, know how you know I'm mastered? But you Cabal, I guess I'm sorry, Zagreus, because he has a graveyard. Oh, okay, sure, whatever. I'm so bad when you gotta use your Bajuka I'm so mastered, I just need the lamp. That's the point of Bajuka you know? It's that if you need it, it's a graveyard hit spell that if you need it, it becomes your land drop. Uh, I'm gonna be done. Go ahead. This is that ramp deck again that never ramps. Means. Um, your commander, Segris. It's a trample five four. I feel like by about this time in every three player game, you kind of know what's going to happen. Mm, I mean, not really. The two of you are going to duke it out until one of you weakens the other, and then I'm going to make a comp. I don't know. I don't like three player games as much because it just seems like 1v1 with a third person who's screwed somehow. <laughs> it do be like that. Um, think I said Maybe I'll be proven wrong. Optimism. Lol, he has optimism. Um, going to attack Shu for three, just to get this uh, mirror entity into play. Uh, I will make a kobold and block with it. Okay, which one are you blocking? Because the mirror entity is also me. Uh, I'll block both with kobolds. Okay. Um, okay, then I, uh, I'm going to pass the turn while I crack my burnish heart, so just do your turn while I crack my burnish heart, okay? That's fine. Now Zegris can hit me, because there's no kobold. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and attack you for five, Shu. No, that's not fun. Trample, so it didn't really make a difference. That's true. Yeah, yeah it's trample, so that's that's five damage. Um, no, I took it. I am going no. So now everything that I every spell that I cast has cascade. I'm going yeah, to yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> cast Bloodbraid Elf, so I get two cascades. So cascade number one is those are four cost, six cost, three cost. 
My three cost spell is Manifold Insights. Reveal the top 10 cards of your library. Starting with the next opponent in turn order, each opponent chooses a different non lane card from among them. Choose those cards. The chosen cards get put into your hand and the rest get put on at the bottom of your library in random order. Card me. No, you gotta flip cards first. Oh, wait. Yeah, I have to. Can we flip 10? I, I flip 10. And then we each pick one of these to keep. Yeah, so. Think twice, Swamp, and it's non-land cards. Um, Allure of the Unknown, Reforge the Soul, Rakdos Carnarium, Covenant of Mines, Exotic Orchard, that's... I need three more. Fact of Fiction, Command Tower, and Island. So let me take out all the land cards first. What happens to the rest? The rest go on the bottom of my library in a random order. Okay. So we've got right. Think Twice, Allure of the Unknown, Reforge the Soul, Covenant of Minds, and Fact or Fiction. Um, I go first. Uh, Covenant of Mind, I guess. Okay. They're just all draw spells. I'm going to go Think Twice. Okay. So then these go on the bottom in a random order. I like that card. That's fun. Yeah, I like it too. Come on, come on, come on. This deck's name is It's Out of My Hands because the point is to try to get every to get opponents to make all the choices for me or have the choices be random. All right. The next, so that's eight land. Burgeoning is the next cascade. That was a really neat cascade. <laughs> if you land it, I guess. So how many? You have one more cascade to go through right now. No, no, that was that was a two manifold uh, insight. Uh, yeah. no, no, because burgeoning also has a cascade, but that's one mana. So, oh god! Yeah, no, no, from his hand. Yeah, when you oh let's see, when you cast when you, when you when you cast spells from your hand this turn, they gain so, cascade. Wizards account for that. Okay, good. Yeah. 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 I mean, it's been a loop otherwise. Um, no, it wouldn't because you'd get down to like zero or something and. You wouldn't find another spell less than zero. That's true, I guess, but it'd still be a really ridiculous loop. Um, I haven't played a land this turn, so I'm going to play Is It Boilerworks and return, let's say, Rootbound Crag back to my hand. I have nine mm -hmm. cards in hand, so I have to discard something, so I will discard, think twice, and... Um... Let's get rid of Windfall. And that'll be the end of my oh, turn. Alright. We will untapping. We will drawing. We will play a Swamp. Wow. Um, and I will play yeah. Rootbound Crag. Alright. Um, six. I'm going to cast my commander. So everything has to attack now. Everything has to attack, and if they attack me, he gets a counter. Or playing a lot of control, but I don't do that. And then, uh... My turn. One, two, three, one, two, three, just for the sake of remembering shit. Tell me if you play a lineup. And I was just reminding myself what I had out. Um, yeah, that's fine. I'm just... So that if I miss you playing a land... Miss seeing you physically put a land into play, then... That's fine. Um, is that when a player plays a land for the turn, or does that work if we, like, harrow? Do you get to do it twice? Whenever an opponent plays a land. So I think it's the... If, if you have like turn. if you had an effect that allowed you to play multiple lands in a turn, then I could get yeah, multiple yeah. land drops. But I love that card. I've been playing that card since forever. Now it's all popular stuff. Burgeoning's <laughs> always been popular. Burgeoning's always been popular. No, it was like a dollar card when I bought it. It's from Stronghold. Each was tiny back then. It was always a popular like, casual card, but casual cards were not expensive until like ten years, until I, until relatively recently. Yeah. Of, of glimpsy unthinkable for some goddamn reason. They tried to play that in tournaments. It didn't work, but they tried. They tried. I played veteran. Uh, actually, no. Yeah. 
can't do it that way. Fuck. Um, I'm like, oh yeah, my commander isn't in my hand, so I can't just cheat him into play. Damn it. Yeah. Mm. Give me one more second to think. Um, I'm going to play. This is where we see the Jeopardy team in the video play. Yeah, I'm going to attack. Sorry, I'm going to attack Segris. Yeah. Um. Everybody must attack. FYI. Uh, yeah, my general's out. I mean, it has been, been, been decreed. Yeah, I didn't even know that. I was debating whether to attack or not. No, nope, it's around my hands now. <laughs> yep. Taking. Three. Five. You're taking 11. You're attacking me for 11? So, you you decided for me, right, Dark Seal? Sorry. Yeah, Segris, yeah. I'm attacking Segris for your love. Okay, and that that's everything you have? Your mirror entity is attacking? Um, What's that third creature that's halfway off the screen? Yeah, that's what I mean. Mirror entity, does it have vigilance or something? No, that's not mirror entity. It's off the screen. It's some other guy. It's camera. Oh, 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 okay, there we go. Um, I guess blo uh, Bloodbraid Elf is blocking Calamine. Okay. Um. Okay, you take five. Okay. Dead. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Second main phase. Hey. No, no. Cathars can save. Good thing we gave you a good thing you drew that tranquility. Did you play a land turn? Oh. Okay. Untap, draw a card. Let's see. Yeah. I'll take her. Okay, let's play a swamp, and Yidris is attacking you, Dark Steel. Is Yidris? He's a 5 4. Terrible. A 6 6 camera as captain. That's fine. Um, let's see. It doesn't matter because I have a 6 6 if he attacks me too. So. Six, six, six. Oh, yeah, he yeah, had to attack. Yeah, yeah. force. Let's see. Let's pay three and play Tranquility. Destroy all enchantments. Um, and that's also this burgeoning. Mm -hmm. yeah, you got it already. <laughs> Chain reaction. Deals X damage to each creature. X is the number of creatures on the battlefield. Only well, that's four though, right? Yeah, but it should kill pretty much everything that Darksteel has. Took damage this turn. Yeah, that's true. I feel like I'm always the target. <laughs> Darksteel, you're you've been only attacking me. Yeah, the two of you like I said, the two of you will duke it out until one of you dies of this. Yeah, because it's you it's your turn, Shu. But then it's chilling out. I'm, I'm just saying out loud what happens like every game. Somebody is doing poorly, and then... 
they win because, because the other two people, people get really I mean, Darcy, you look at it this way. What's the life totals? You're at 40, I'm at 26. If there's yeah. anybody who's been targeted... I didn't deserve to be targeted, it's just I always seem to be in this position where I'm the one with the early, with a good game early on, and that bites me in the ass. Well, it's not to have a good early game like mine. <laughs> Maybe play more terribly, and you'll not die. Um, or just not attack game. people at random. Chad that for a while, it didn't go well in college. Uh, Darkstone is winning you for five of my commander. Ooh. And then I'm at Kadama's reach, and then pass. And actually, actually, I'll be playing, playing the land, one of the land, the land I get. So that's that. My turn. I'm gonna say forest and mountain. Okay. So uh, we'll say forest comes in tapped, and I'll play mountain as my land for the turn. I'm going to play. Veterans Armaments. Then I'm going to play Kithians Irregulars. Veterans Armaments is equipped. I really have to run Artifact Blast again for the lols. Counterspelling Red is hilarious. My turn. What do Kithians Irregulars even do? Are they a tapper? Yep. The lols. I need a four drop, and because I was like, I need a four drop. What else does it do? Uh, Shadow Blood Rage. Renown one. Renown uh, one. It doesn't have any abilities that trigger upon being renowned or anything. It just, it just has renown one on a, on a creature that's already normally. So it lets, it, it lets a creature that was a four mana four three become a four mana five three. Congratulations. Yeah. Your creature became a slightly under costed creature. Congratulations. Alright, so actually, yeah. Um, let's see. Actually, now that I think about it, hmm, that's a choice yeah. what I could do. Five. Yeah. Um, I already played my land, Shadow Blood Ridge. Um,. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and recast Idris. Yeah, that seems good. Pass the turn. Okay, I'm going to untap a whole bunch of crap. I'm going to draw a card. I will say Grow Guild Gate because I just drew that. Uh, I will, let's see. I'm going to say one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. For Boborogmos. The original one. Which is a terrible card, but I do so love it. Uh, and, and what's the size of Kytheon's Irregulars right now? Uh, four, three. Alright, I'll attack you for a five with Tantus. Five, five? It is a five, five. Nice. All right, I'm done. Don't forget to do commander damage. I don't think I can monitor that for you. My turn. Tap. Draw. You should have taken 10 commander damage for me, honey. Or did you block last time? I blocked last time, I think. Why are you 30 now? I should... Wait, I thought it was, uh... No, it was Tantus. Okay, then I, then I tap me here. Okay. So, I play Forbidding Watchtower. I really liked OG Barbarigmos, even though he's really bad. I don't think he's bad, bad. I, I think that there's probably better choices, but that doesn't make him bad, necessarily. Yeah, well, I mean, he's bad, but he's, like, fun bad, not, like, just no fun bad. My lightning grease, equip it to Kithian. Kithian's a regular, it sounds like he's got bowel problems. 
I mean, here's the problem, though. There's four of them in the yard, and it's a four three, so obviously each of them's giving one power, but that implies two of them only have one half toughness. Yeah. They're wimps. They're little girls. <laughs> one half, one half. Is, um... Everyone's creatures again? Yeah, five, 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 and a six, seven. Five, four. Yay. Um, at, so. You have to attack, so, so, so the decree camp is the war we were. He made you a sweater that makes you also attack. Attack sweaters for everyone. But not either if he gets a stocking cap, because I don't think he'd fit in a sweater. Too many arms. It would have to be a special sweater with his forearms. <laughs> I, I guess he has a like special sweater with extra arms. Yeah. Tapping both of your guys. Uh, alright. Five. All right, I'll take five. Renowned, hooray. Hooray. Turn. Okay. I really, I really like Anthos for a remote attack. It's fun. Oh, let's draw a card. Ooh, interesting, interesting. Everyone's tapped out just for you, Cyrus. Do the swing swing. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna swing at you, Shoe. Oh. Bye. Keep yeah, he's like I'm at twenty seven, right? I gotta be a dick just because I can. I'm gonna red elemental blast him. He's blue, right? Yes. <laughs> Don't okay. attack me. I mean, I have to attack, so I'm going to attack somebody, and you seem like a pretty good target for being an asshole and making everybody attack. <laughs> exactly. It's fun. Um, attacking, it seems like it's a cool, brave thing, but the problem is it's basically no blocking unless people have vigilance, so it actually makes this no combat, so it's actually just everyone skipping combat and punching each other, which is kind of boring. Oh, really? Vigilance, man. Vigilance. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Um, oh, creatures have vigilance and they're dead now. My commander has vigilance, and I have several vigilance creatures. Right. Let's, I, I think I'm going to go and cast Charm Breaker Devils. One, two, three, four, five, six. Is that how I want to do it? One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's... Repeatable Snapcaster. The, the Red Mage's weird repeatable Snapcaster thing even bother. Not really. Okay. Hashtag Snapcaster made should have been a red card. Pass. Kind of You're done? Yep, I'm done. All right. I will untap all this friggin' stuff. I'm gonna sort my lands better so I can see what the hell I've got. Draw a card. Now is not a great time for ramp deck. I mean, it's always a decent time for ramp, but. Leaving you have two mana left. Um, wait, what's this do? <laughs> oh, what the hell? We're gonna go big or go home. We're gonna say black, 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 and one, two, three. Except I'm gonna tap this instead. Necropolis Regent? Oh. <laughs> what's that one, dude? I'm unhappy uh, about Whatever creatures you control deal combat damage to play, put that many counters on it. Oh, it's that vampire from Return to Ravnica. Yeah. Uh, we're going to say um, Full of Dark Steel. 6, 7, and 5, 5, except hang on when Borborn most deals, oh, it's when he deals combat damage. So it's a 6, 7, and a 5, 5. Okay, I'm taking how much? Taking 11? Yeah. Yeah, 5 is command damage. And then hang on, I get to put a whole crap ton of counters on all my dudes. Okay. So when a creature does come, he put that many. So he puts six, and he puts five. And then Borborgo says when he deals come, he's going to put a one plus one plus one counter on each creature you control. So one, total of seven, total of six. And I'm, I'm, I'm 
going to comment here after you've already put the plus one plus one counters that you could have stacked that so that you got an extra counter. Yeah, yeah whatever. It's fine. Too late now. Do I really need more counters? My turn? Oh, you should have put a Kabul too. Damn it. Oh, well, he, he, he's out again. He's haunting. Yeah. Left. I should have also played a Kabul. Because <laughs> then it would have been a 1 2. Yes. I held up Kabul man and everything, but I'm a terrible magic player, so. Oh, Okay. Oh, you know what? I also missed a trigger on Tampus because when he swung at me, Tampus was tapped, but he still should have gotten a counter because he swung at me. Alright, uh, skill shaper moving the lightning graves to it. So the soldiers and that side control will get plus one, plus one. Gotcha. And I'm ready back to the board because then I pretty much did a lot. <laughs> no, no, we lost Cyrus again. I'm I'm still uh, here. It's just my video is going in and out. Yeah. The stupid camera, Irian camera thing, just doesn't seem to like to stay. Are you using audio for something, something other than your phone? The video for your phone, or are you doing both? Phone? I'm I'm using my computer for audio. Uh, that makes sense. Then. Uh, since I know I can rely on more on that than I can on That's anything true. else. <laughs> That's true. The phone integration stuff is nice, but also seems weird. Yeah, I may have to look into an, uh, just a really good webcam or something. If only they weren't like a bajillion dollars, probably. Cyrus. You could get a decent one for like 20 to 40 bucks. I mean, they're not really that bad. I mean, if you want a really nice one. Cyrus. Yes. So... So proposal that we have a, tr a temporary truce with each other to get rid of shoes. Oh no, they're they're colluding against me. Well, why do why do you think I uh, <laughs> I attacked Shu earlier? Exactly. So I'm gonna have to have my Kithians or yours attack you probably because they'll just get eaten by them. Is that is that is that okay? I guess. Because <laughs> okay. what I'm gonna do though is I'm gonna <laughs> you, except I'm gonna hey, murder you during the truce. Dark but steel. I'm gonna use my because here's the thing. I want to use my mana to tap down his creature so he can't attack us next turn. Yeah. Um, you uh, might want to uh, switch that uh, those steel boots over to the Kithian Irregulars. Otherwise, you have to attack with your other guy as well. Oh, yeah. Good point. And, and I would rather not take the just... extra damage. Oh, yeah. yeah. Good point. <laughs> okay. I did that. We're good. Okay. I, okay, you'll take... And you know what? Because actually I'm going to have an extra mana because I have five mana right now. I'm going to equip this... I'm going to spend the mana to equip... Oh, wait, no, it doesn't make a difference anyway because fucking... So I'm going to hit you for... You'll take six. Okay. I will be at 20. Okay, then next turn, I, then before I move, I'll move the lightning gears back, just, you know, hooray. Okay. And that's, that's the turn. Um, oh, during my upkeep, I return an instant or sorcery at random from my graveyard to my hand. Oh, yeah. <laughs> One, I two, three, three, four, so four, five... So let's just say top down. I'll roll it. I'll roll a d6, and on six, I will just re-roll. Sure. Five. Manifold insights. Which one is that? The one we choose? Yeah. Every one is the one that you choose. <laughs> <laughs> How long are the ones where nobody chooses? Um, let's see. How big are your guys, Shu? I can... Uh, yeah. Hamptus is um, a... I'm, I'm building my deck while you guys are doing stuff. Uh, 11. Borgordmos is a... 
13, 14, and the Necropolis region is a 7, 6. Hey, let me make sure I got the board most right. Yeah, 13, 14. And I can make a kobold if I want. So a zero one. Which is definitely the most important part of that question. Sedgris, do you have any ways to get rid of any of these creatures right now? That's what I'm working on. <laughs> um, they all die to almost everything except terror. <laughs> who runs terror? Okay. Uh, people who play old school decks on purpose, like beans. Well, I guess we're going to find out what I can do here. So. First things first, Manifold Insights, when I cast it, Charm Breaker, Devils get plus four, plus zero. Oh, that's nice. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So, let me get rid of the land. Can I remove a spell in there? Well, give me a second, let's find out. Those are land cards. So we have Gruel Signet, Wheel of Fate, Forgotten Lore, Benefactor's Draunt, Okong, Eye of Chaos, Plea for Power, and Chromatic Lantern. What the hell does any of that stuff do? What does that green one that weird do? This one? No, 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 I know that one. The new one. I know old cards. It does untap all creatures until end of turn. Whenever a creature an opponent controls blocks, draw a card, and it has draw a card. So you always draw one card, but if somebody blocks, then I get multiple draws. Gotcha. You can have that for me. <laughs> okay. The blocking thing. So what is your opinion, Darksteel? Which card do you want right now? Um, unfortunately, I don't think that Forgotten Lore is going to be very helpful because we just don't have anything that necessarily gets us anywhere mm. in, in my graveyard already. What if you did, can't we, like, make you switch it? Um, I we do... You choose, but then I can pay an extra oh, yeah, green right. to make you choose something different. Yeah. Um, Wheel of Fate doesn't do anything this turn, so that's not very helpful. These are mana cards... Um, plea for power does starting with you each player votes for time or knowledge if time gets more votes I take an extra turn if knowledge gets more votes or the vote is tied I draw three cards so maybe that one uh, okay. I was trying to tell him I already know what plea for power does I'm saying if you pick that I will vote for whatever one you want which will obviously be time yeah I think that's probably what I was trying to say I know what it does already just well, he disappeared. I'm still going to try to get my travel deck together. I think the best option is to pick for it, and then we vote for time, and you take an extra turn and see what you get on the extra turn. Yeah. Um, let's see. So, four for that, for plea for power. And, yeah, this is going to get plus four, plus zero, and I'm going to choose time. Shu, what do you, what do you vote for? I'm due? I forget. I either get an extra turn or draw three cards. Voting for time, though, so... Yeah. So, I'm... Shoo, I'm going to get an extra turn after this. Okay, hang on then. Let me think. You, you wait, okay. Do you vote? Yes, I get to vote. I vote first. I vote for an extra turn. You get two extra turns then? No, uh, it'll... It's... Who, whatever is vote voted for. most is what I get. He draws three, but there's three of us, and I picked time. Okay, that's fine, yeah. So, no, it doesn't matter what I vote then. Yeah. And then I'm going to cast Fossil Find and return a card at random from my graveyard to my hand. <laughs> I love that card. Gets a plus four, plus zero. Uh, the card has to have the extra rules text that you shuffle your graveyard because legacy. <laughs> Let's see. One, two, three, four. That entirely unnecessary rule set that exists because legacy. Four, five, six, seven, eight. So there's eight cards, so I'll just roll a, um, a D8 somewhere. No, that's 12. Here we go. Here's a D8. Okay, so then it's top to bottom of the pile, so this is one and this is eight. 
and seven, so I get Windfall. I have an extra turn. I'm just going to leave it like that. Good. Now yeah, time yeah, for your second, second turn. turn. Nope, because I have to attack still because uh. of Vantus. Yeah. So, yeah. um, Shu, I am attacking you for 12 damage. All right. No, wait, no, wait, no, wait. It's, it's 16 damage. It's a 16 4. Huh? Cats, all of his and sorceries. sorceries. I, I thought you were pulling for what you turned. Hmm? When, whenever I yeah. cast an instant or sorcery, it gets oh, plus awkward. four plus zero. This thing right here is I did, I, 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 I misremembered his ability. Uh, I, I can, can just block, block with a kobold, kobold, right? Yes, you can. Trample? No, it doesn't, unfortunately. But now oh, I get my extra turn. Yeah, 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 now yeah, you get an extra yeah, turn, and I can't kobold, kobold this turn. turn. So this could be bad. <laughs> Um, a twiddle so bad. You never want until you need it. It's like a card you never want. You just want something else that untaps your stuff. Sometimes you just need fuck. You just need twiddle. Savage lands. Is that what you drew? Yeah, that's what I drew for the turn. Oof. Yeah, I know. Draw spells? You can wheel. Don't you? Yes, I do. I, I, I have Windfall. I would cast, uh, cast... You could cast that. I might draw a removal. That's what I'm kind of thinking. I'm, I'm going to play Bone Miser first. So that's whenever I discard a creature card, I get a zombie. Whenever I discard a land card, I get two black mana. And whenever I discard a non-creature, non-land card, I draw a card. Really good right now. No, I'm supposed to. I'm supposed to return a card from my grave of uh, instant sorcery at random. Let me let me go back a little bit. Okay. I mean, I don't think that it matters, but one, two, three. I think three, if you get an instant sorcery, but you get one a card from random, that'd be great. Six. So there's six cards now. Let me roll a d6 again, top to bottom. One and six. <sighs> Sorry, it's off the screen. Six. So I get think twice back in my hand. Ugh. Okay. Okay. You know, you know, you know, the Savage Lands is tapped already. Then I'm going to play Bone Miser. Then I'm going to play Windfall. Charmbreaker Devils gets plus four plus zero. Um, so I have five cards in my hand. Who? What's the what's the highest number that people have? Yeah, three, sir, three. Okay. I can't count. You have, you just have one dark steel. Five. Well, let me do five. five. Yeah, so we discard and draw five. I have it's five uh, non-creature, non-land cards in my hand, so I'm going to get to do the discard. Non I get to draw an extra five cards on top of that. Mobilization, the card. Oh, wow. Mobilization. I almost played it like for three turns in a row. Second, any reanimation, I've got some sweet targets now. <laughs> How many do we all draw? You you all draw five cards, but because I discarded five non-creature non-land cards, I get to draw an extra card for each of those. You draw ten. So I drew, so I draw ten. Draw a card. Spells in it. Four, five. Why are you doing that? You will find. Um. I still have to. Attack with Charmbreaker Devils. Thantis is a really big guy, right? Like a. 11. 
I'm I'm attacking you, Shu, with uh, Charm Breaker Devils. How big did it get this turn? It's just an 8 4. Break block with Tantus, then. And you get a counter. Attack me. Um, and then I have to go to discards for the end of my turn. And unfortunately, this may get a little weird, so. Because I'm. That may get a little weird, though. That sounds like fun. Well, because the the problem here is that each time that I discard a uh, Tybalt, like a, a non-creature, non-land card, I draw a card, but that'll put me over seven cards, which means I get another cleanup step, essentially, where I have to discard down. Huh? Is that? There's one cleanup step. Okay, the game checks once at the end of the turn how many cards are in your hand. Once that check happens, it doesn't check again. You you keep getting in steps as long as there's abilities on the stack until no more abilities are put on the stack and all state bait a actions are resolved. Then the turn can officially end, but it keeps going and keeps adding new small steps until that happens. Doesn't like the I, I, I don't think the game checks how many cards are in your hand. Give me a second and I'll. It does that and then it goes to the end step. I'm pretty sure it does that and then it goes to the end step. A few minutes later. Uh, there's it, at the beginning of the end step, all of the, um, you know, like at the, at the end turn or at the beginning of the end step, those stuff, those triggers get put on the stack and get resolved. Then after that, there's a cleanup step. First, if the active player's hand contains more cards than their maximum hand size, normally seven, they discard enough cards to reduce their hand size to that number. Uh, second, the following actions happen simultaneously. All damage marked on permanent is removed. All until end of turn and this turn effects end. Don't use the stack. Normally, players receive no player receives priority during the cleanup step, so no spells can be cast, no abilities can be activated. However, this rule is subject to the following exception. At the begin at this point, the game checks to see if any state actions would be performed or if any triggered abilities are being wa are waiting to be put onto the stack, including those that trigger at the beginning of the next cleanup step. If if so, those state bait actions are performed, then those triggered act abilities are put on the stack, then the active player gets priority. Players may cast spells and activate abilities. Once the stack is empty and all players pass in succession, another cleanup step begins, where they discard down to their maximum hand size, and then they make sure to remove all damage and all in turn effects and then they again check to make sure state based actions have state based actions have been resolved and there's no triggered abilities and it keeps happening over and over until everything is clear so i'm does getting that, does that mean you're going to go through your deck until your hand is nothing but lands basically or you deck yourself well, you uh, probably not to sculpt his hand pretty sexually is what it comes down to so I get to get two mana, then I get a zombie. Let me make sure that I have a little zombie here. Here's a zombie, and then I draw a card. Here. Now I'm above down seven again. I'm going to discard Bracto Signet and draw another card. Then... Um, let's see, I think that I'm going to go ahead and end this nonsense by discarding Mountain. You need win right now. <laughs> I, have, I have four mana, but there's nothing I can do with it, so I right, just don't you get more mana. mana? I have I have four mana, but I have nothing instant to use it on. So because it's all black mana, I don't have any black instants. If I oh. if I had enough, then I could like recast. No, I guess I got rid of. Oh, so I if I had a blue mana, then I could do think twice. But I don't have any blue you mana. Make so discards that go pretty insane with that card. I pass my turn. That made me. Cool, oh, I get a turn now. Uh, I can't do anything in a step, so I will untap all this stuff. And we're bored most. I will. There's a lot of bad cards. 
That wheel did you good at least when you throw away all my fatties. Which does help a little bit. Uh, we'll say one for Blood Hall lose because those never do any good, and now this time it might. Or extend myself because I like to game. <laughs> For a champion of Lamholt. Again, okay, Gabriel Dark, Plaza comes in. Dark die. Steel. Hey, hey, shoot, wait a second. Dark Steel, can you move a little bit? Are you moving at all? Okay, your camera is frozen for me. Just give me a second. Oh, no, there you go. Now you're moving. Weird. Yeah, yep, okay, go, go ahead, shoot. Let's stop, let's, let's not, not use the beta next time. It's, it's, it's clear the beta is, um... I don't think it's any better or worse well, than the regular. Well, I mean, Darkseal, would you rather us constantly be reloading the page, like, 50 times each? Fair point. Alright, so, um, Darkseal, Tampus is coming to you, and Cedric, these other two are coming to you. Time out, time out, you have to go to... Don't, don't just go to... Attack. I'm going to combat step now. Biggest creatures. Is, uh... 13, 14, this one is a, well, this one is a 7, 5, and then these are a little bit. Locking your commander in Cyclops, boy. I'm tapping your commander in Cyclops. Key with the crap, let's read it for 6, then. Okay, I take 6. It gets, um, oh, I'm sorry, 7 total. 7. Counters. Okay. Try pulling a sneaky on me. And, um, I'm gonna be done. Uh, this is like the best chance this can do, probably. <laughs> <laughs> That's the board, I lose the game. Now I will play. That is the white player takes his turn. I'll play the planes. Other deck, that's a game too, if you guys want to play another game. I have a lot of things I could do, but I'm not going to do them because I have to use keep all my mana open the tap all of his guys. <laughs> uh. I got it. How many hashtags do I have? I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have eight. 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 eight mana. Same side, I'm going to. Well, A, so I don't have to do anything. I'm going to move the lightning greaves back to the Kithians. And, and uh, uh, wait, what's, what's the biggest. Wait, what's the biggest creature? Wait, tell me. What's the biggest creature you have right now, Shoot, I can block? A one. Wait. Shoo, what do you how you have blood hall ooze and something else? Get a land hole. Ah, one one. In that case, shoo, I'm going to have to because I have to I have to attack, right? In that case, shoo, I'm going to attack you for one, two, uh, six. Six, seven. He's a five, four by default. He gets plus one, plus one from Aura, and he gets plus two, plus two because two creatures are attacking. Okay. Didn't he get that? Veterans aren't ornaments. Veterans are one, one, or what's the other guy? And a, Two two. Hmm. Do I want to trade with the two two? Shu, you also get two counters. And so he gets um. Um. So an eight power and a two two. Is it worth it to kill the two two? I'm just gonna. He, uh, put a kobold in and block the big guy with the kobold. Yeah. 
Um, I passed that. Uh, no, 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 I lose. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, I think it's probably going to kill me now because all my shit's tapped. Um, how big are your biggest guys, Shu? They're tapped. I know, but what, 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 how big are they still? In general, uh, yeah. the biggest is a team 14. Borbordmos is a 13 14. And the Acropolis region is a 13, and then I have two one ones. Surely. Okay, well, I think that what I have to do here is... Well, I guess, let's see, because I don't really... Well, okay, hang on a second. Let me... I have to go look at something. Okay. Well, I have a card. It's going to be a little weird to resolve, but it may be the answer to our problem, Stark Steel. Uh, this is, uh, this is my favorite way for you to answer my problem. Weird. Okay, so, like I said, like, like I said, this whole deck is about other people making the choice for me or doing it kind of like at random or something. Okay. So, unfortunately, this is the hardest card, probably the only, like, questionable card when it comes to remote gaming because it's guided passage okay reveal the cards in your library any an opponent chooses from among them a creature card a land card and a non-creature non-land card i put those into my hand then shuffle my library card the entire library yes so what i'm going to do <laughs> just is, pick the three cards that well i'd no, you you need to make the choice. I'm putting the deck link into Discord to look at. It's in the forum okay. games spot or uh, channel. <laughs> to look at Discord because I don't think I get to know. It's secret. No, it's 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 reveal all the cards in my library. I have to. You have to be able to see. Oh, really? Oh. And who gets to make the choices? You do, Dark Steel. Guys. Okay, got it. Who you pick then? Because I'm not gonna read the whole deck. Right. Uh, you need to see my beautiful face for a bit as I uh, move my laptop up to actually read this thing. This deck, I'm like, I found a sleeve with the entire bottom ripped out. A sleeve with like one of the sides is ripped. I pick what? What do I pick exactly again? A land, a creature, and a non-land non-creature. Okay. For land. There's there's plenty of basic lands if that's what you want to choose. Just tell me which type. Land. Just grab like a forest, I guess. Okay, I'll grab a forest. Done. For creature, you need a creature. Yes. Looking at the creatures, you don't have a lot of creatures. You don't have a lot of creatures in this deck. Nope. Um, and I have a few in my hand, so it may be that. Go, go ahead and pick, and I'll let you know if it's in there. Yeah, but this this card's totally fine for a uh, It's not like your bride or anything. Other people's cards going across the table. That's the ones that are really annoying. There's Boom pile. A calm. There's. Let's see if I win. Combustible Gear Hulk. Crom. Kothi Remnant. Shardless Agent. Dragon okay. Layer Spider. Ethereum Horm Sorcerer. I, okay, I, I, I'm picking Sard is Shardless Agent an option? Shardless Agent is an option. Shardless, Shardless Agent? Okay. So and now, if, if you want to know what cards are possible for dealing with Shu, there's stuff like Insurrection, Boom Pile, Coercive Portal. Huh? For the cast instruction? 
I do not have the mana to immediately cast Insurrection. That's the only problem with casting. If if I had had a little bit more mana, then I could do it, but I, I don't. Interaction isn't going to kill his creatures, obviously. Well, if I attack him with all of his creatures and kill him, then his creatures disappear, so it's effectively the same thing. No, I mean, uh... I see Insurrection is the option, is, would do that. I'm talking about, um... A different, a different card. Discard anyway, so it doesn't matter. Well, Wild Sling could maybe sort of work, but it wouldn't really do much. Um, well, isn't Wild Swing non creatures? Yeah, or non enchantment. Okay, never mind. Insurrection target player or all? I believe it's oh, all creatures. Oh. Insurrection, you, he wins. Okay. Maybe. Also. I'm on board, board to kill myself, myself in dark field. Which is why I said that something like Doom Pile or Coercive Circle might be, or Coercive, co coercive Portal <laughs> might do? be better. That one would probably be a little more reliable than the coin flip one. I mean, we never know. The problem is that Boom Pile I can use immediately. Coercive Circle I have to wait a turn. The thing, the thing is, is I, can I can afford to hold back most of his creatures for a turn, so... Yeah, he's kind of tapping me out every turn, so I can't really do much. But I don't want to have to keep wasting my mana. Oh... Well, let's flip a coin to see who wins. <laughs> Honestly, your deck is pretty even for a black deck. It's very light on removal, actually, so... Which makes, makes sense because of the theme. theme. Um, yeah. Probably Wild Swing would be the best option. Okay. If that's your choice. Wild Swing. Swing it is. That one that might destroy stuff. I love that card. To be fair, you have, you have three, three acceptable, acceptable options to be destroyed, so it'll, it'll be a good option no matter what. But it's kind of pricey. It's true. It also doesn't really necessarily save us at all. Anything else to pick about, really? Give you good suggestions, you didn't give me any suggestions, so... You mean other than Boom Pile and Coercive Portal? Uh, I didn't see those. Let me double check. <laughs> I, I kept repeatedly Ooh. saying those. I, I, I was trying to tell you because there was, there was a lot of chatter. Okay, okay. what are the name of the cards you were suggesting? suggesting? They're both artifacts. Pile and Coercive Portal. Coin Niv Disc, and the other one is like, way to turn vote to Niv Disc or do something else that's not relevant. Okay, yeah, boom, boom, pile it is. Okay. <laughs> flip a coin. I love flip a coin cards. It's gonna happen um, eventually. I think there's like one flip a coin card you can't play in, um, or Spolt or whatever because it's white. Talking to me. Okay. There we go. Okay. Now the short. Now they're all in my hand. Let's see. <laughs> Most important coin flip ever. So. Yeah, I I think that it's smart for me to go ahead and play Boom Pile, and I'm going to oh activate it. Oh my god, I'm a terrible player. Oh well. Um, I don't actually have a coin. Are you guys okay with me just rolling a die and do even on odds? Oh. Sorry, I didn't catch that dark steel. Even is destroy, odds is not destroy. That's what I was gonna say. Are you okay with that, Shu? Fine. This is ten times bloody. Even destroy all destroy all non money permanents. <laughs> No, but I'm actually holding an instant that could have killed Kytheon the regulars, but I'm dumb. <laughs> See, that's, that's even better. 
I'm already turned my hand. Because uh, I, I have, have the twiddle. twiddle. I, I have, have the twiddle. twiddle. <laughs> I have the twiddle. Right. Um. So I still right? get to do something. So I'm going to play Shardless Agent and Cascade. And that's three. Oh, Ancestral Visions. You got, like, the best one to get. This is a pretty good cascade, yeah. So I'll draw three cards. One, two, three. And then I need to discard down. I'm at ten. So... That's based when you get a free Ancestral Recall, but you already were at seven cards. <laughs> that one... Um, if I, my creatures got really fat, there's a whole bunch of damage. If I lose that, at least I had a good game. <laughs> I lose that. I think that. Hmm. Well, no, that's a. Oh my gosh. I don't, I don't really, I want this to, I'm down, I need one more card, I'm sorry, uh, go ahead and go, I'm just going to say, I'm discarding two lands and something else, I'm just, I'm taking too long. For some reason, what you're discarding, so I was going to wait, but it's cool, we'll go. Um, I'm going to do a shit ton of ramping, I'm going to play a forest, and then I'm going to tap four, fishguard claim, and I'm going to crack a bloodstained mire, and then I'm done. Some a bit. Already untapped lands. I guess uh, the other one is subterranean trimmers. Mm. It's three man to cast King Kitty Cat. Oh, okay. Uh, about six, five. Then I play Kidori Outpost, so I have to sack one of my planes. It can be any planes. For some reason, with this, these cards, two of them tap for two mana, and you have to sacrifice an untapped basic. And two of them tap for one, three of them tap for one mana, and you could tap any basic. I don't know why Wizards did it that way, but it was Ice, it was Ice Age block. They had no idea what they were doing back then. Sure. I have King Kitty Cat and King Riding on Horse Guy. Yeah. Okay. Be my turn. Draw a card. Ramp to nothing. Play an island. Um, Darien is based on damage or loss of life? Damage. Okay. This is going to be very relevant soon. Yeah. Well, it does help me decide what I think I want to play, which... First, I'm going to play Hammer of Perforos. Right. Do it like this, I think, because then one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, okay, so that's Perforos, or Hammer of Perforos. Then five more mana for Raving Dead. Death Touch, at the beginning of combat on your turn, choose an opponent at random. It attacks that player, this combat of Able. Whenever Raving Dead deals combat damage to a player, that player loses half his or her life rounded down. Um, deal damage or before he deals damage? Whenever it deals dam combat damage. So two, then I would lose five. Yeah, so you would you would get if it attacked you and you didn't block it, you would take two damage, get two soldiers, and then you would lose half your life. That's, that's, that's right. right. 
Yeah, so that's Death Touch. And to make things a little bit stickier, I'm going to play Everlasting Torment. Players can't gain life, damage can't be prevented, and all damage is dealt as though its source had wither. Yep. As though instead of just saying all that the sources have wither or something. That is a mean, mean, mean card. At the time, they weren't really sure about giving... Like that, yeah, these days they realized, wait, we can just put Life Link or Death Touch on a spell and it literally doesn't make a difference. But, you know. Um, like... Okay, so Rav, Ra Raving Dead is going to attack because it has haste now. And Shu, you are evens, and Dark Seal, you are odds. Evens. So, Shu, it's coming after you. Let's say Copal. And it's a 1-1. One, one. Or a 0-1? A yeah. yeah. Okay. So you block and nothing happens. And I don't get minus 1, minus 1 counters either. After that, it is the end of my turn. I uh, will. Oh, wait. Uh, end of your turn, I'll play uh, Scrib Ranger. Why not? Okay. One tap all this business. Draw a card. I have no cards in hand, BT dubs. Except for the one I just drew. Uh, I will cast Rebel Belt Raiders. And that's my turn. Are you attacking just put a counter on everything you control? Uh, each attacking thing I control. And you were looking at me for playing Intro Pack Type Rare, but now look what you're playing. <laughs> Play the fact that for you know this. My my turn. Long for me, y'all. You always say my decks are too optimized or too running into. Oh, it did. <laughs> okay. Oof. Oof. You can't get in your new card. Oof. 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 Uh, myriad landscape. Um. At least we got some back and forth going instead of like the last two games where people just died and nothing happened. Vroom. Yeah, we got some back and forth. How big is, is your, are your creatures, uh, Shu? In a 1 1? <laughs> is the answer. Not. Um. Station. Um, okay, that's interesting. That's a card. Um, that's a combo piece in the stack. Infinite? Like, you just have infinite soldiers now, don't you? Thought, well, no, because I... It's infinite soldiers if I have... Okay, no, the way it works is if I have a way to gain two... Like, if I have two soul wardens out... You gain infinite life. I have soul wardens out, and you couldn't gain life anyway, so... Yep. So it does, it does all sorts of neat tricks though on this deck, besides that, so. Well, as many soldiers as you want based on your life total, can't you just tim yourself on tap it, tim yourself on tap it? I have to sacrifice a creature to activate it, so. Didn't see that, you're right, okay. Infinite into the battlefield triggers, basically, as much as my life. Somebody for your life total minus one. The damage to myself. Right, so that doesn't actually do anything. Be into the battlefield triggers. You go to the Trust me, I can do. Th I can basically do it to you guys, but it, it, it's unglued. It'll work eventually. Right. <laughs> All right. Um, oh god, that, you went deep with that reference. <laughs> Everybody knows that reference. Uh, kids yeah. these days, so. One. One more. Oh, and flying. Ooh. Ooh. Make a soldier token with Kaldorian outpost. And then I'm gonna sack it to ping, to ping your fairy for one. Um. Uh, 
Exactly that. Also, your thing went on tap, wouldn't it? Sent to the battlefield under my feet. Because you, you sacked the creature that caused the trigger, so the trigger had to resolve already. You guys are just trying to make assumptions about how my combos work. So it would work, wouldn't it? Because, okay, so you put the token into play, the trigger goes on the stack for untapping it, response to the attack. Yeah, you're right. So the trigger... Good. Boy. Um, attack, uh, Shu, I'm going to attack you with Brimas. George, whenever he attacks, I get a 1-1 one, one kitty cat soldier token with Vigilance attacking. Kobold? Or blocker step? Guys? Would you, uh, you block the 1-1? One, one? What 1-1? One, one. Oh, the 1-1. One, one. Wait, 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 time out. Let's go back for a second. While, while his ability is on the... The 1-1 one one enters the battlefield while that ability is on the stack. Thank you for this interaction. So... Damage to your zombie guy over there. Surviving? Token that he makes. Like, uh, maybe put something on the battlefield to represent it, Darksteel, so that it's easy, e easily... Because I think you can respond to the trigger, you know, the blasting station trigger. Token gives him. He attacked, token went up, token into the battlefield, trigger goes on the stack, I tap, sacrifice the token, which is this penny. Mm. Mm. What? I King of the Cabald. That's what I said there. I was like, okay. So the Cabald is dead before it can block. That's what I thought he was going to do, but I'm just like sitting here like, what's going on here? Interrupted. My train of thought was interrupted. I'm sorry. Fuck. Uh, no, I'm good. Oh, okay, keep steps. Pay for care keep. You pay for care keep. That would be awkward. Okay. And glass station is untapped again. Anything else? Yeah. Okay. Untap. Let's let's get this thing trucking again. Ooh, that's good. I want this swamp right here. Then let's do. Let's see. Raving death tough. Is it a six? Yeah, it's a six. It's a two six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There, so if it got two minus one minus one counters on it, it would not do anything anymore. Yeah. Well, that's what I was thinking of when I was considering targeting the blasting station. I was thinking of just neutering it. I am going to pay eight mana here and cast Yidris once again. That's the third time I've casted it. Hasty, he's a hasty boy too. Yep. Um, Shu, Yidris is for sure coming after you, and let's again do evens for Shu, odds for Dark Steel. So Dark Steel, Raving Dead is coming after you. I just rolled a three. Uh, I'm the block. If only my fucking haste, if only my lightning games hadn't been destroyed, I could have had a giver of runes. I could just give pro black. Shoot, how big is uh, the guy? Three, three. Okay, so I get three minus one minus one counters, and you take two damage from that, and it's commander damage. Uh, I'm going to temp block with giver of runes. Okay, so. The first time I've taken from you, a minus one counter, right? Yes, I get it. Mine gets a minus one, minus one counter. No, uh, 
Shu, you've taken seven total damage. I, I got in one. I got in one attack with Idris. Um. Yeah. So things cascade. I'm going to pay one for Tassiger, and I'm going to get rid of some stuff out of my graveyard. Five cards total. So let's get rid of. Tassiger is nasty. Give us. I like, I like the old Artasica better. Okay, I actually like this one. I, mean, I don't get why there's so many cards with crappy art that they just keep reprinting, and then there are cards that have good art that they reprint with other art that's also. It's like, why? Like, do you know how many Bitter Blossoms are out there? Yeah, it's like there's like four Bitter Blossom arts, and they're all amazing. Yeah, bitter Blossom is popular, and. Oh, these get exiled for sure as part of the cost. Okay, so, so now I cascade. Rights of flourishing. Uh, uh, popular that have terrible art. This is all right. We're all howling like mind and mana player, right? right? Yes. Well, it's a thousand extra lit. Wait, is it, what's, what's it doing again? What's is it extra taps for double? No, rights of flourishing is each player draws an extra card and can play an extra land. Oh, it's okay. yeah. more not mana player. Gotcha. Yeah. Jeez, I'm like, I, was, I didn't remember that being mana player. Right, what rights of this? flourishing. Um, unfortunately, that's all that I can do for the turn, so pass. Zero card hand, so this is going to be very devastating. Spell, who knows? <laughs> going to have those. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Six. Yeah, that's the best card advantage color combination for some reason these days. Uh, three, four, five. And there again. Three. Three for Aether Membrane. God. Okay. So what's Aether Membrane doing again? Remember, it blocks a creature, return it to its owner, can at the end of combat, and it's an 0 05 defender flying. It may block as though it has flying, so defender reach. Okay. Very quickly, uh, I'm going to. This is this this is the part of the game where a lot of math has to be done because we're all low life with shell stuff out. And it's a mess. Card. To play next Oh, I can draw an extra card. Is it a card you would have played last turn? No, probably not. <laughs> playing some play another planes. It's great. I think it's Tassiger again. Uh, Tassiger is a 4 5. Hmm. A 3 3 for some reason. Alright. Okay, I'm going to do my super secret um, gamer move moment on him where I'm going to post, make a guy. He's in the stack, blasting station, hit him for. Hit, hit who? Tassiger? He's now a... Four. Mm. It's, uh, I'm sorry, your audio cut out and I... Tassiger is for, for one damage, so he's now a three, four, right? Yes. Now... I'm gonna attack you, Cygris. Maz is sure to go from the back. I get a kitty cat. I blasting, blasting station again, again taking Tassiger down to a 2-3. Sure. 
Just did a, that was a that was a pro gamer move. <laughs> so I have a Brimaz is how how big? Three or three. And they're okay. both coming out. Okay. Laughing torment is hard right now. Turned it against him, though, so it's okay. I'm gonna double block Brimaz and take three from Darien. Edge on Brimaz. Oh, he, oh, he dies from four total. Kill Tassiker. That's fine. Uh, your Brimaz is dead now? Yes? He had four toughness. The damage on him, or are you taking anything? Three top the oh, okay, yeah, gotcha. Uh, I passed the turn while I do your turn, I'm going to get two more planes with mirror landscape. Is that okay? Sure. Yeah. Untap. Yeah, I prefer draw land tax with all these goddamn right. Right. draw two cards. <laughs> Play Island and Sp Spire Bluff Canal into play Tapped. And. Huh? What you? What did you say, Shu? Do you have cards in hand? Yeah, I have three cards in hand. Um. Hmm. Everything has to attack. Okay, I'm just going to go straight to combat. Uh, Dark Steel, Yidris, and Shard Shardless Agent are attacking you, and then we need to see about. Huh? Do you think first? Yeah, I need to see about Raving Dead. So, evens with Shu, so Shu, Raving Dead is coming after you. Uh, Hampus gets a plus one. Is um, your commander? My commander is currently a 5-4 with 3 minus 1 minus 1 counter, so he's a 2-1. Okay, I'm going to... Uh, turn to block. Watchtower into a 1-5 and block him. Okay, so now your watchtower has two minus one minus one counters on it. And you take two damage. Yeah. Shu, what are you doing with uh, Raving Dead? Played a kobold and chopped it. Okay. Yeah, and I get two soldiers. Hooray. Oh, yeah, you took damage, so I guess you do. Um, let's see, one, two, three, four. So I'm going to pay four to play Unexpected Results. So I shuffle my library, then reveal the top card. If it's a non-land card, I may cast it without paying its mana cost. And if it's a land card, I put it into play and return Unexpected Results back to my hand. So you can see I'm, I'm, I'm shuffling here. <laughs> if it wasn't shuffle first, it might actually be a good card. So reveal the top card. It is Deadbridge Trant. Nice, that's, that's a good flip. flip. So I'm going to cast it. I put the top ten cards of my library into my graveyard. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And let's see, yeah, it's the beginning of my up upkeep, so nothing happens right now. Um, I'm going to cast Zerp de Derp. I can't say his name, so I'm making it up. Um, it's Eye of Wisdom, which is the one at the beginning of combat. I flip a coin until I lose a flip, and then I draw a card for each flip I win. 
Or whenever I win a flip, I draw a card. So after that, it is pass. Right. That is, that's a really weird card that's kind of pointless. Because you don't have draw spell. No, I have the other part. Oh, no, wait. Oh, oh, man. When it enters the... I can put it from... When it, when this creature enters the battlefield oh, because it's partners, I can find a con and put it into my hand for my library, so... Are you going to cast him? No, no, I'm not. And the thing is, coin flip card you have that right now isn't actually a win. It doesn't actually... You don't win or lose on it, so... That, that's, the, that's the problem with that card, is that a lot of the coin flip cards don't actually say win or lose. Um, no, it's pretty clearly at the beginning of combat on your turn, flip a coin until you lose a flip. It is cancel. Okay. There's nothing I can You're do about that. You're just like, like this big. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. though. Hands right, so I'll play Bloodstained Mire, and I have another fetch land in here somewhere. It's in here. We're in Catacombs 2. Cards, but I have an infinite hand size now, right? Yeah. Yep. Land open. Um... Big Zermbers flirt. He's a 1-4. This side of the field. Do with all these cards. There's too many friggin' cards in my hand. Problems to have, right? But I'm gonna do... Wait, can damage be prevented? No, damage can be... It cannot be prevented. I'm not gonna cast that thing, that's pointless. Yeah, that's pointless. Are the things on that card or not? I've got. A Jet Darksteel? How many times have I abused you? LA Command Damage, I'm at 15. So if I hit you and the soldiers were gone, you lose. Yeah. Hang on, I'm losing through this enormous hand of cards. About that either. They're stupid. Um, I should probably just wait and do these things later. I'm gonna swing at you with Tampas for six. Is that tram trample? Jones and Reach. Chump block. Alright, this counter is gone. My, My turn? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm done. Hooray! Team cards in my hand, that's stupid. Oh, interesting. I play planes. What's the, what's the blue legendary creature do again? Again, he draws on coin at flips. the beginning of combat on your turn, flip a coin until you lose a flip. Whenever ah. a player wins a coin flip, draw a card. Okay, got it. Just check. Player, that's cool. Yeah. Coins. What's the attack? It is a 1-4. Yes, everybody must attack. Tampus is alive. And attacks on Tampus at this point? Once I've only played him twice. Four. Four. Um, let's see... And play? Aaron is in play. Pay six, and I'm going to reiterate that, and also pass Aaron. 
No. Right. What? It has only been one time. I think I'm confused by the other king of things. That one wants to. That one's dead right now. And then. Odric, Master Tactician. Okay. John Connery. Oh, wait, that's the one lets you decide to do attack and block and crap, doesn't it? Yeah. Just who blocks? When I attack with at least three other creatures, I get to pick who blocks, and I like block. Uh, that would be my turn. Mm. Why is your life go to higher? It's like you passed my commander. Good point. There's things in play, it's hard to keep track of them. One thing in play that has like a billion little weak hands. Wait, how did you... You got the life from swords, but now you're going back down? No, you can't gain, gain life from sword. He, he gained life by accident. When he I gained, gained life, then I realized I couldn't, so I gained life. life. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm going to activate Hammer of Perforos and sacrifice a land to make a golem. Oh, God. So you, didn't you... Uh... Hammer of Perforos also did that. Yep, I can make three three guys. Okay, so at the beginning of my upkeep, I get a card at random from Deadbridge Chant. So there's a there's a lot of cards here. So Dark Steel, like pick a number, I don't know, between one and thirty or or something like that. I'm off the top, like dealing to your other hand and have him say stop. Okay. Well, uh, let me mix it up first because, I mean, technically I'm not supposed to, but I don't, I don't I'm Card pretty power. sure I don't have anything that's, that matters for that. Well, that'd be bigger, but other than that, I don't see anybody playing anything that cares. So, let me shuffle this up. Want to flip the top off? Stop. Okay, so this is the card? Just right off the top, yes? Yeah. Ethereum Horn uh, Sorcerer. That's a good one. Um, let's see. Cast or what to do? One that can be bounced back to his hands. It, it, just gets, do with it. it just gets put onto the battlefield at this point. Okay, then I draw two cards. And I get to play two lands, but I'm only going to play Opulent Palace. Let's see. Then... Do anything awful to me? I'm cracking these two fetches. Change if I need to cast things at you. It's all game of... Well, let's see. Green... Green, red, red. I need this. Green, green, red, red. Two more. Let's, oh, these two. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, there's six. 
and I'm going to play Dragon Layer Spider. And then I'm also going to pay four mana for a con Eye of Chaos. So let's see. These are up here. Everything has haste. Um three blockers. I have two untapped mana that can be basically whatever I want. <laughs> okay. Because I cracked two fetches and I'm kind of like halfway searching now so I don't stall the game. Yeah, I shoo. I'm going to come out pretty much all the way against you, but I have a couple of things to choose before then. One of them being who uh, Raging Dead attacks. So let's figure that out first. Again, shoot your evens. Nope, it's going after you, Dark Steel. So this is by itself. Then. Yeah, you're with everything you. Yep. And then I have to resolve these two guys, which they both have at the beginning of combat. Flip a coin until you lose a flip. So I get two of those triggers. And however many I win, I draw a card and double a con's power and toughness. So evens I win, odds I lose. So I lose once, so I get the other trigger. I win once, so I draw a card, and a con is a 6-6. Six, six. I win again, I draw a card, a con is a 12-12. Twelve, twelve. And then I lose. Okay, who's, uh, what's coming at me? Just the Raving Dead right here. Jump with the soldier. Okay, so now Raving Dead can deal no damage. Hey. Hey, so I will... Let's see. I have an instant choice here. Right here. What are you doing? Wait. Time out. Back up a second. Okay. I, I, I screwed up something. Um, uh, if he attacks me, I'm going to go down to... Is it round up or down? Down. It's, you lose life rounded down. Like five. I'll take, take the, the damage. damage. Okay, so you will be down to five life. Get five. And you get one soldier. Yep. Okay. Here. So I'm gonna block dragon layer spiders. How big? Four or five? Uh, five six. What am I casting? Um. Guys, like a. How big is the two cascade dudes? The oh, these cascade dudes. Uh, they are a two-two and a three-six. Don't forget uh, that a con. What is Ethereum Horn Sorcerer's power? Three. Yeah, I know. A con is a twelve-twelve. Activated ability. The Sorcerer again. Yeah. The activated ability is pay three, return it to your, to its owner's hand. Three? Yeah. I only have two untapped mana. Okay, good. Uh, so, if I block Okun, how much damage am I taking total? Uh, once Okun is blocked, it's 1, 4, 6, 11, uh, 14. Okay. I'm going to pay. I have two really decent choices, and I'm trying to figure out which one I want to do. Blocking Okun, but I might have another blocker because I have a flash guy. Cool. Die. That's not a big deal. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna flash in Scrib Ranger. I get a one-one insect. 
I'll block uh, Okun with this and. And who with Scrib Ranger? Sorry. Uh, your audio is completely... I'm not hearing what you're saying. Check, check one, two, the Dragon Lair Spider. Can you hear me? Yeah, now I can hear you. Okay, so... So, so mine both die and Okun goes to your hand. Yes, and you will take one, four, six, nine damage. Minus and one counter on your spider, right? Yep. And then during my second main, I will play an island and then pass the turn. Okay. I have a lot of land and a lot of cards and not a lot of life, so we'll see how this goes. I thought you were going to die that turn. It died, but I know I'm not doing great. Oh, I draw two, though. Yes, you do draw two Ooh, cards. Land. So I will play Rocky Tar Pit and Colony Garden, which gets me a plant. Some cards in my hand. Figure what I'm doing with all this. So the first thing we're doing is and Thunder Shaman. I get another insect. So now there's two of them. I need to destroy. Oh wait, which one is combat damage? I can destroy artifacts and enchantments. Uh, these insects are annoying. Uh, that keep going. So we're gonna say. Green spider. The what? Oh, the the dragon layer spider. Yeah. yeah so he stops pooping his tokens. Okay, I still get another insect. Oh, it's cast a creature. It's cast any spell whatsoever. That's crazy. All right. Well, and I'm I get that. a three three beast as well. And then I'm gonna say. I need to leave mana open or else I'm screwed. Enough things I'm also screwed. Pretty uh, grim right now, to say the least. <laughs> I have nine mana is all. Fire, so... Um... Okay. Three. Do you guys fly? I you guys fly, though, right? My guys? No, I don't have anything flying. I really need my triggers on combat damage. It's <laughs> quite slow. So we're going to cast Necropolis region. Okay. Good. Three. Five. Uh, up. So I'm going to call that for my turn. I'm done. One. I know it is. It's like, <laughs> wow. This all I'm saying is out of my hands. <laughs> huh. Aside from the combat stuff. <laughs> Not sure. Two, three, four, five, six. To play Sun Titan, Return of the Pure. Sun Titan, and Return Critically Correct Crusade. That's what Honor of the Pure is from now on. It's Politically Correct Crusade. 
say this. You could argue it's more racist because it's just saying that white pee things are pure. Yeah, let's let's not get into that conversation. We this game has been going on for like two hours now. <laughs> yeah, this is a long ass game. Uh, uh, wrong game. This is gonna be only like, okay. So sorry, this is doing a lot of math now. Four four. Seventeen. It means that I'm the like owner of the game or whatever. I'm, like, oh. I'm the one in charge. I'm thinking here. This, this is really tense. Super tense. Uh, Attack him and do as much damage kill, as you want. Yeah, I can kill you. Yeah, yeah, that's the point. I can't kill him. I can kill you. Kill you. Kill this murder me next time. And he'll probably also murder me. There. Blasting station out, which adds a lot of math to this equation. Linear up can block you now, right? I can choose to have certain things get blocked if I want to. You could also just say... Yeah, I can say nothing is blocked. Yeah, I know. Deal. It is just hasps. Hmm. I don't know, uh, Cyprus? Once. I have three one ones and a 3-3 three, three beast. And uh, what creatures are, what are the cards, you have a 2-2 two, two that's tapped, and how big is your Minotaur guy? The Minotaur is a 3-6. Three, 3-6. Six. Three, six. Okay, um, my guy's done. I have a 6-6 to block. Six, 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 it might be my interest to kill all, as many of his creatures as possible. He can deal... I managed to kill all and a three three, right? So all those four with my four guys. Hey four six next turn unless I get blockers out. Okay. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm attacking Segris with all my guys who can attack. Okay. Mm -hmm. Have it. So wait. Oh wait. A minute. Ugh, they all they all get withered. Yep. That adds another layer of bullshit to this whole mess. Because that just going to you're in attack with everything. Sagris, yes, and then I'm going to make it so that all of your untapped creatures die, and none of my stuff dies, but they get counter so my they get soldiers count each. I'm gonna have Daring get one counter, and Odd is gonna get three counters. Okay, so these guys are dead, though. Yeah. Okay. Um... D 
then I'm going to... Taking a while to math. Um, one of the soldiers to um, blasting station your zombie. Okay, so it gets another counter. Yeah. Okay. And then I'm going to play, which untaps. And I have a four minute left. Okay. That's it? That's it. At the end of your turn, I'm going to sacrifice a land with Hammer Perforos to put another go Golem into play. Mm-hmm. Untap. Uh in, um, in response to that, I'm going to Red Elemental Blast Ethereum Horn Sorcerer. Okay. <laughs> this is like, this is some high level shit right now. <laughs> this is like, oh god. Man. Untap, upkeep. Uh, I get to do this thing again. All so, right. shoo, this time you're going to tell me when to stop shuffling, but give me, let me shuffle a couple of times before you do that. So I'm just shuffling cut. I don't care when we stop. Just okay. So right now, cut in half this card right here. Yes. Sure. It's unexpected results. So it goes into my hand. Uh -huh. Draw two cards for the turn. Um. Let's see. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 mana. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That looks good. Insurrection. Okay, I'm going to Okay, hang on. So if I had held mana open and copied that instead, would that change anything? Uh, Still everything up, right? No, Still because it. you would you would gain control of everything, and then I would gain control of everything anyway. My hand, which I could have cast if I didn't run with the blast. Yeah, I think you win. There's I'm pretty sure there's no way to. Could there have been a way to sacrifice everything? The sack outlets that I can see. I mean, you have you can get rid of one creature, Dark Elephant, but there's not yeah, much else. Wait, that wouldn't make a difference because I wouldn't have blockers. Um, yeah. Okay. okay. You he could get rid of a lot. Of it. Tim's himself. He could get rid of like four. Doesn't matter because like he can kill me with like two of his creatures. Yeah, like shoot, I can kill him with just Necropolis region. Honestly, I am mad we did that. I did that much math. <laughs> Sorry. You just told us it isn't gonna matter. Well, I I really needed to make sure that you didn't have like mana tithers, or I mean, just something really weird to stop me. I wish I I wish I thought to, to hold open and just reiterate because at least then I got to steal everybody's stuff for a minute and then die mercilessly. 